I'm going to do a horizontal one, and I'm going to do the horizontal chart here, and put the values in. There's my chart. Yep, I'm going to break it apart. Just simply ungroup it. That's all you have to do to get it out of the chart mode right here. Ungroup. And then I can take my content very easily, move that away, and get rid of all of my other stuff that's right there. Again, get rid of the stroke on there right here. Pick a color that's going to work great for all this. And things like this. Grab the ends. Boy, do I love to corner widget things. Mm -hmm. Something like this, what this does for me is this gives me nice little ends where I can plug my information right in there. So I take a circle and draw the circle. Zoom in right there. I'm going to go ahead and use my smart guides to find the center right here. Option is going to draw from the middle, and I'm going to fill that with white. And I've got my content right there. I can move it over so that it fits in there beautifully. And then I've got my type that I can grab, and I can put my type in here so I can show you exactly what that percentage is right along with each and every piece. And I can take my content, put it right in there, okay? Makes it really nice, because then you just, you look at it, you see exactly how long it is and how this is going to work. And I'm gonna show you this ridiculously simple way of doing these kind of angled charts to make them look like steps right here. It's really difficult, folks, okay? Well, all I have to do is simply just draw another box the same size as this right there and just park it right up. I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna park that right there and just move that over right to the edge and of course, option click and drag and then command D for duplicate. Now if I'd like to stair step this, I could just take my direct selection tool and that end there and just pull that all down to create a stair step of it. Or if I'd like to make it smaller or larger, I could take these shapes and I could use my transform tool, which is the letter E, and then I could use my little perspective here and I could make those bigger or smaller to warp those, okay? And then attach another piece to it. And what I love to do, I can go in, if I use a global color, I can always make a lighter tint, but how about making a darker shade of this color? I could go in and make a different one and add black to it. Nope. I'm just going to go into my edit menu, edit colors here. I'm going to recolor my artwork, click on the edit button, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to darken it up right here and make those a little bit darker. And then I can simply grab another container right here, snap that to it using my smart guides, eyedropper tool that right there, pick up the color, option click and drag, command D for duplicate, nice little step. One more thing I gotta show you is that really cool stacked pie chart. I am gonna use the pie chart feature for this because it's pretty simple. Grab the pie chart, I'm gonna draw this and I'm gonna put in my values. And then click OK. And I'm gonna break apart my pie chart and close out of the chart input. Ungroup it, yep, I know I'm breaking it. Get rid of the stroke right here. And I'm gonna apply just a basic color overall here and just use the swatch panel to pick up the different colors. If I would ungroup it again, there we go. Pick a lighter color, pick a darker color, right there. There's my pie chart. Now the fun begins. I squish it, like that. And then all I do is I just create duplicates of this, okay, really quick. Now because I'm in millimeters, it goes kind of slow, so be patient with me. And how do you accidentally duplicate something? Well, you know you can use your up arrow, but of course if you hold your option up arrow and you do that, what that does is that duplicates as it goes. So it just creates this big stack of pie charts, okay? There's a lot of them. In fact, there's so many. Let's go into outline mode and just show you how many we have, okay? It's just this huge stack. But then I can take the top layer here, grab that, top layer of pie, edit, edit colors, recolor artwork. If I click the right thing, click on the edit button, make that darker overall, little stacky pie chart, just like that. Some things just need to look good.